All right, I'd like to uh, welcome everyone to uh, Genomic Medicine 5. Uh, my name is Rex Chisholm, and I'm uh, going to co-chair this meeting together with uh, Terry Manolio from the Human Genome Research Institute. Um, want to thank everybody for coming. We think we've assembled a really great uh, meeting today that uh, we're all going to learn a lot from. This is the fifth in a series of meetings, and we've actually planned out as far as a sixth meeting, which you'll hear about in a, in a, in a bit. Um, Genomic Medicine One held, was held in Chicago in June of 2011, and that was really an attempt to get everybody to, that was actually from institutions that were actually doing genomic medicine implementation projects to just hear from each other and see if there was enough there there for us to move forward with uh, activities in the area of genomic medicine. Uh, we were actually all very impressed with how much there there was, and that recently was published as a very nice paper summary that came, that came out of that. Genomic Medicine II was held in December of 2011 here in Bethesda, and the goal there was to develop collaborative projects and task forces, and there was a lot of time spent uh, thinking about what the areas that needed attention if we were going to actually implement genomic medicine going forward. Genomic Medicine III, held in Chicago in May of 2012, uh, was one of the first follow-ups from what we learned in uh, Genomic Medicine II, which was that we needed to really think about engaging stakeholders from the healthcare enterprise. We had some of the leading organizations that actually provide healthcare uh, who were very actively involved in that, in that session. Uh, GM4 was held in Dallas last January. And that was the second phase of that sort of plans that emerged from the GM2 meeting, which was the need to engage professional societies and um, other uh, disease-oriented organizations uh, and think, understand what their interests were in the area of genomic medicine and uh, what they thought about implementation. And a very exciting activity that emerged from that was uh, a steering committee that's actually coordinating activities and uh, leveraging ongoing interactions between those professional societies, and, and you'll hear a little bit more about that later. So then uh, this meeting is also a follow-on from one of the areas that we thought was really important in uh, the Genomic Medicine II meeting, which is really to begin to understand uh, U.S. government agency perspectives. Uh, obviously, the federal government's an important uh, participant in health care, uh, provides a lot of health care itself. Uh, we're delighted to see so many representatives, for example, from the armed services who are here today that uh, have huge health care uh, operations. Uh, so our goal here is to hear from you and to begin to learn a little bit about what, from your perspective, current needs and gaps are in applying genomic medicine to understand what activities you have in progress or are planning, to understand what obstacles you've encountered or anticipate, to understand how NHGRI and the NIH can facilitate or expand your activities if that's helpful to you. One of the roles, as you can tell from this short introduction already, is that NHGRI has played an important role as a convener of groups, and uh, that seems to be actually been very helpful. And uh, then who else should, should be at the table that isn't at the table uh, as we move forward? So that's what we hope we'll be able to uh, discuss during the day. And then we have some thoughts about what some possible outcomes might be, but these will get developed during the course of uh, the next two days. Uh, always white papers seem to be an important element uh, to think about what the needs in the U.S. are and, and possible approaches. And uh, you were all provided in advance of this meeting some information about a uh, federal uh, or a national approach that the UK has taken to this project. And uh, actually, GM6 is going to be a follow up with international groups and what their activities are in the area of genomic medicine. Um, we hope to find and identify commonalities between the agencies that uh, are presenting here and see if we can uh, expand those into collaborative activities. Uh, we want to hear uh, about initial use cases that uh, we might come to agreement that are things that we should pursue. We should think about how to plan communications and collaborations across agencies as we move forward. 
Uh, one possible model it will be this uh, steering committee approach that we've taken with the uh, biomedical society and the professional societies. And then uh, needs and goals for interaction and especially as we think about the international meeting which will be held in the fall here in, in um, DC area. So you'll hear more about that in the future. So that's what we hope to accomplish in the next two days. It's a big agenda um, and we really look forward to a very interactive discussion. Uh, there are presentations that people will use to kick off but we really, the most important thing that we found in all the genomic medicine meetings are um, the discussions that happen around that. So um, with that introduction, uh, Terry or Eric, do you want to make any comments? Sure. Well, and, and thanks for that nice introduction, uh, um, Rex. I think you've, you've covered the, the most important points, except for one, which is that we are being videotaped so that you all are aware of that. Actually, we're being live streamed. So if, you, uh, if you're somewhat schizophrenic as I am and want to watch yourself <laughs> on the uh, live streaming while you're talking, uh, feel free to, to do that. Um, and we will make all of these uh, videos uh, available um, after, uh, afterward. So uh, Eric, uh, would you like to? I just want to express my appreciation to Rex and to Terry for organizing um, this meeting, as you see, as a series. The series is um, in many ways overseen and sort of the long-term planning of this falls under the auspices of a standing working group we now have, a genomic medicine working group, which is a working group of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research, which is basically the advisory council for our institute, NHGRI. Um, it was recognized a couple of years ago that that with genomic medicine being a key focal point uh, of, of NHGRI's uh, mission, that it seemed important with many new um, and quickly changing things going on in that area, that it was important for us to establish a working group of our council uh, to really help be, a, in many ways, a scouting party, if you will, for what the needs are and how the institute can have its greatest impact, and, and these meetings are a, a major part of of that scouting activity, if you will, reconnaissance activity. So we are picking areas uh, that we think are important for us to learn about. Um, as Rex said, we do see this as much a, a, an important convening function where we're bringing groups together that maybe otherwise wouldn't be getting together in a meeting and seeing if uh, common areas emerge from that or common things that we could be doing and being helpful. So we very much want your input. I know the members of the working group who are here would be very interested in any feedback about things that, that they could be doing as a working group that NHGRI can be doing as an NIH institute. So I look forward to the next couple of days. Thank you for coming. Yeah, so uh, just so that people at least can put a name with the face, we'd like to do a very brief round of introductions with everybody here. Obviously, that would take a long time if you just uh, said much more than name, rank, and serial number. Uh, so if you could just indicate who you are, institution you're here representing, uh, that would be very helpful. And we'll start at the front of the inner table. So I'm Larry Meyer, and I'm with the VA. Cecily Sessions, Air Force Medical Support Agency. Steve Farrow, CMS. Liz Mansfield, FDA. Uh, Carolyn Clancy, Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, or ARC. Wayne Curry, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Jessica Moline, uh, Cleveland Clinic Foundation. Uh, Murray Brilliant, Marshfield Clinic Research Foundation. Eric Green, NHGRI. Terry Manolio with the Division of Genomic Medicine at NHGRI. Rex Chisholm, Northwestern University in Chicago. Jeff Ginsburg, Duke University. Brad Ozenberger, NHGRI Division of Genomic Medicine. Mark Williams, Geisinger Health System. Dan Roden, Vanderbilt. Good morning, Wayman Cheatham, U.S. Navy Medicine. Good morning, Bruce Stahl, Navy Medicine. Jonathan Forsberg, Naval Medical Research Center. Deborah Leonard, University of Vermont College of Medicine, representing the College of American Pathologists. Naomi Aronson, Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. David Rhonda Cooper, D. Hoff, University of Florida. James Hoffman, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Ron Praskowski, VA, Office of Research and Development. <clears throat> Adam Berger, Institute of Medicine. Joan Scott, National Coalition for Health Professional Education and Genetics. 
Federico Nocenti, University of North Carolina. Amanda Elsie, University of Florida. Uh, Klesson Turner, Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. Mary Williams, Association for Molecular Pathology. Kristen Maloney, uh, University of Maryland. Maura Dollymore, Coast Guard, Health, Safety, Work Life. Jeff Salvin Harmon, Coast Guard Operational Medicine. Erwin Bodinger, Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Mark Retain, University of Chicago. Thomas Lane, INMH. David Ledbetter, Geisinger Health System. Maureen Smith, Northwestern University. Catherine Whitcap, Air Force Medical Support Agency. Ian Marpuri, NHGRI. Wong Ni Ni, NHGRI. Lynn Dressler, Mission Health, Asheville, North Carolina. Tim Wiltshire, University of North Carolina. Uh, Peter O'Donnell, University of Chicago. Ronald Miller, working with the Air Force. Janet Williams, Geisinger Health System. Jean Jenkins, NHGRI. Iftikhar Kalu, Mayo Clinic. Anastasia Wise, NHGRI. Derek Scholes, NHGRI. Sarah Harding, CMS. Scott Devine, University of Maryland. Sarah Knight, Department of Veterans Affairs. Mike Heathcote, Northwestern University. And if you need anything over the next two days, you can contact me. Pearl. Pearl O'Rourke Partners, Healthcare Boston. <coughs> Monica Giovanni, Geisinger Medical Center. I think we caught everybody. Is there anybody we missed? Was there anybody we missed who just came in? Uh, Jeff Manch, University of Maryland. All right. Um, then we will move on with the agenda and introduce uh, Jeff Ginsburg from Duke University, who's going to talk about the value of an uh, integrated uh, strategy.